So my war with Frank Tofano is still ongoing. I've already debated him and I've debunked a number of his health and nutrition claims, but he regularly publishes nonsense to his YouTube channel and every so often I like to check to see if he's uploaded anything new that I can debunk. And today Frank has uploaded a video titled, Vegans Can't Get Enough D. Well, I've looked into your film history, Frank, and it appears that you've been having that same problem. I wanted to thank you for being such a good girlfriend. You were my first experience with a guy. And if we were still together, I wouldn't want to let you go. I feel like I was the reason we broke up. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I gotta go to class. Wait, Lewis, come on. But to be serious, Frank's video is about vitamin D, not the D in his low-budget homoerotic films. And with regards to vitamin D, Frank claims that vegans will inevitably become vitamin D deficient because they don't consume any foods that contain cholesterol, and according to Frank, cholesterol is necessary for vitamin D transport. Unfortunately for vegans, cholesterol is required for vitamin D3 to be transported in the body. And we can only obtain cholesterol from animal foods. So right off the bat, Frank has gotten at least two pieces of information wrong here. Firstly, he claims that cholesterol is used to transport vitamin D throughout the body. That is not true in humans. Humans have a specific vitamin D binding protein which transports vitamin D throughout the body, and cholesterol has absolutely nothing to do with vitamin D transport in humans. I think the reason Frank made this mistake is because he admittedly does absolutely no research on any of these health topics. Well, no, Vegan Gains is okay with calling me out for a debate because he knows I won't do any preparation whatsoever. <laughs> he knows I'll just come into the debate and just bull the whole time, so. I mean, I don't, like, I don't sit at my desk on, I don't sit at my desk all day compiling up anti-carnivore notes or, like, debate bullshit. So what probably happened here is that Frank assumed that because a form of cholesterol found in our skin is responsible for producing vitamin D when it comes in contact with sunlight, that must mean cholesterol is also responsible for transporting uh, vitamin D around our body, which, again, is not true. Uh, humans have a specific vitamin D binding protein that transports cholesterol throughout our body. So the entire premise of his video is false along with his preceding arguments. Also, even if we were to assume that Frank is right, just for the sake of argument, that vitamin D requires cholesterol for transport in the human body, well, the human body produces its own cholesterol, so this still doesn't make much sense. Uh, Frank might argue that our bodies don't produce enough cholesterol, so vegans would need to eat cholesterol from animal products in order to get enough, but this still doesn't make any sense because you don't need dietary cholesterol to raise your serum cholesterol levels. Uh, in fact, saturated fat uh, has a much greater impact on your serum cholesterol than dietary cholesterol does. And there happen to be plant foods that contain saturated fat, like coconut oil. And according to the American Heart Association, coconut oil is just as bad as pure butter in terms of raising your serum cholesterol score. So Frank's claims make absolutely no sense from top to bottom. Uh, not only is cholesterol not involved with vitamin D transport in humans, but even if we did require cholesterol for vitamin D transport, well, our own bodies produce cholesterol, and you don't even need to eat animal products if you want to increase your cholesterol levels if you're dumb enough to follow Frank's advice. So, this isn't an excuse to eat animal products. If you want to increase your cholesterol score and increase your risk of heart disease in the process, you can do that just fine by eating things like coconut oil. Cholesterol isn't limited to just vitamin D3. It's required for sex hormones, cortisol, as well as bile acids. And again, our own bodies produce all the cholesterol we need, and there is no evidence that elevating your serum cholesterol has any positive effects on things like hormonal balance. In fact, this study found that despite vegans and vegetarians having much lower serum cholesterol on average, their circulating free testosterone levels were the same, and the authors noted that despite vegans and vegetarians consuming significantly less fat and cholesterol, and having lower serum cholesterol levels, 
these differences are not associated with circulating androgen concentrations. Again, I think this is another case of Frank making broad assumptions about a topic he knows nothing about because he doesn't do any of that research bull****. Frank then went on to describe what he considers an ideal range and intake for vitamin D3, and working off of his false premise, he argued that because vegans don't get enough cholesterol, they often end up becoming vitamin D deficient. Now, what are the levels that we see in these vegans? However, not everything was off the charts sky high. This year, my vitamin D levels were flagged as being below the reference interval cutoff, which was 30.0. Mine were at 28.8. And there's some dispute as what's considered low vitamin D. This article on WebMD says levels above 20 are fine. Other articles will say 30 is a cutoff, but the bottom line is I'm really close. and I'm not too concerned, neither is my doctor. The big biggest difference between this year and last year is that in the previous years, I was outdoors running all the time, getting tons of sunlight, running shirtless. And for most of 2018, I've been working out in the gym and playing basketball. Plus, I got this blood test done in December when I'm getting the least amount of sunlight as possible. So I'm going to make more of a point to get more outdoor exercise time in 2019. Hey, guys, it's Happy Healthy Vegan. <laughs> so Frank is suggesting that Ryan from Happy Healthy Vegan had low vitamin D levels because he's not consuming enough cholesterol, which, again, Frank is totally wrong on that assumption. Ryan is just getting his vitamin D primarily through sunlight, which isn't a reliable source, and you should know that nearly half of all Americans are vitamin D deficient, with the highest rate seen in blacks at 82%. I'm pretty sure 82% of black people aren't vegan, it's just that the sun isn't a reliable source of vitamin D, especially if you have a dark skin tone, and there aren't many foods that are high in vitamin D either, which is why Frank Tofano himself takes a vitamin D supplement. Uh, there happen to also be vegan vitamin D3 supplements, so whether you're vegan or not, you should make sure to adequately supplement with vitamin D3. So vitamin D3 has nothing to do with cholesterol. Frank doesn't know what he's talking about, and rather than providing actual evidence for his claims, he just continues to make broad assumptions off of these meaningless anecdotes. Now, I did an interview with Kasumi Chris a couple months back, and she had some very interesting experiences in regards to her blood levels of vitamin D3 when transitioning from a vegan diet to a more meat-based diet. When I was a vegan, that was in January, January the 3rd to be exactly, my vitamin D levels were, vitamin D total, 34. So these four years, never had good vitamin D levels. Even though I supplemented, I tried my best. My doctor even gave me those ampules of vitamin D, like four ampules that I had to take four days in a row with a high dosage of vitamin D every time I went to check my blood and still nothing really improved. I was a vegan for four years. On the 1st of September, I stopped being vegan. I ate some eggs and I ate some butter. The next day I ate some chicken and I ate some more eggs and butter. I continued on and introduced other foods to my diet. Four years being deficient to two weeks of reintroducing animal products back into my diet. What is my vitamin D level? Let me show it to you. Vitamin D, 7T1. So the problem here is that this is an anecdotal claim and we don't have much information to work with, and if you're familiar with this person, she's not exactly trustworthy. So she claims that she was supplementing with vitamin D and as a vegan, her levels remained low. Well, what type of vitamin D was she supplementing with? There's D2 and D3. Which one was she taking? Uh, how often was she taking it? How much? The only thing she mentions is that she did take uh, large doses of vitamin D for four days straight as per her doctor's orders. 
but she might not have been sup supplementing frequently enough and with a high enough dose. Also, fat greatly improves vitamin D absorption, and I'm not sure what her vegan diet was like before, but it was likely relatively low in fat. Uh, and she also mentioned that once she quit veganism, she uh, started eating some foods that are extremely high in fat, like butter, and then her vitamin D levels went up quite significantly. So what probably happened here was she wasn't supplementing all that much, and she also wasn't eating a, uh, a diet high enough in fat, which inhibited absorption. So we know cholesterol has nothing to do with vitamin D transport, so this obviously isn't a cholesterol issue. This was probably her just not supplementing adequately and not eating enough fat sources on a vegan diet. That's not a shortfall of the vegan diet itself, she just didn't appropriately plan her diet. So to me, it's pretty clear that Happy Healthy Vegan is having a difficult time metabolizing vitamin D3 on a vegan diet, and that Crystal had a much more difficult time metabolizing vitamin D3 when she was on a vegan diet. But why are Happy Healthy Vegan's blood levels twice as high as Crystal's? This is because of gene polymorphisms, genetic factors, that dictate our body's ability to tolerate certain things. Whether your body can absorb vitamin A easier than someone else, whether you're more predisposed to having certain vitamin deficiencies. And again, Frank is making more broad assumptions on a topic he knows nothing about based on two anecdotes. Ryan was clearly getting most of his vitamin D through sun exposure, whereas Kasumi Chris was getting most of her vitamin D from supplementation. And because of a variety of diet and lifestyle factors, Ryan ended up having higher vitamin D levels. And still, this has nothing to do with cholesterol. Now, there is something strange that I came across. John Venus's blood levels of vitamin D3. Let's go to vitamin D. So the reference range for vitamin D is 75 to 150 nanomoles per liter. And my score was 91, which is amazing considering I didn't supplement with vitamin D3. Before this blood test, I was getting plenty of sunshine by going out for hikes and walks. Um, so it's definitely sufficient with sunshine if you're exposed to the sun. But if you're not, maybe you should consider uh, supplementing with vitamin D3 because a lot of us stay inside too much and live in places where there is no sunshine. If I was in a position where I had to place a bet if John Venus was actually vegan or not, I wouldn't believe it. If someone can show me a vegan who has blood levels of vitamin D3 this high, please do. I've seen a lot of vegan blood tests and blood work, and there is no way he is not eating some sort of animal product. Specifically here, I'm thinking maybe that he has some local eggs that maybe he gets from a farm or something. That would make a lot more sense. And Frank is making this ridiculous assumption based off of his false premise that cholesterol affects vitamin D transport, which it does not in humans. John just happens to follow a balanced diet and he takes a vegan D3 supplement. And Frank admits himself that the majority of Americans are vitamin D deficient. Now, this vitamin D3 problem is not just for vegans. It's not just for people on a plant-based diet. This encapsulates the United States in general. Most people are deficient in vitamin D3. So if most people are deficient in vitamin D, then obviously this isn't a vegan specific issue and clearly this has nothing to do with cholesterol. So if you want to prevent vitamin D deficiency, then eat a balanced diet and take a D3 supplement. So uh, thank you, Frank, for once again showing everyone that you have absolutely no idea of what you're talking about. But if you want to embarrass yourself any further, then why don't we set up another live debate? I'm sure if you come prepared, then you won't end up crying like last time. And if you like this video, maybe consider supporting me on Patreon or through my website. If you're looking for clothing, then check out the Vegan Gain store. And as always, keep making those vegan gains. <laughs> What a relief! When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.